Welcome to 8.10's Math Moment. Today, students worked with clusters, peaks, gaps, and outliers to describe data. An example of these things are listed right here. A cluster is a group of data values. A peak is the data that occurs most often. Gap is an interval without some data. And then our last one is outlier, which is extreme or distant data. Looking at this dot plot over here, we can see the books checked out from the library. We can see some different things here as we're getting to look at the data. Let's go ahead and look at question number one as we begin to think about how these terms are going to apply to this dot plot. So let's describe the data using cluster, peak, gap, and outlier keywords. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and look at cluster, remembering that cluster is a group of data values. As I'm looking at my dot plot, I can see already from 15 to 35, I have definitely got a cluster of data. Now peak, the data that occurs most often, Looking at this again, I can see that I have a peak right here at 30 because it has three data points. So I'm going to label 30 as my peak. Now I need to look for a gap. Now in some cases there may not be a gap in the data, but in this case we can definitely see there's an interval without data. So looking at this, we've got some spots where we go from about 40 to around 70 where there is a gap in the data. Now an outlier is an extreme or distant data. In this case we've got two outliers right here which are going to be our scores of about 75 and 85 and those are going to be our outliers. So describe the data looking um, from this information. I've already kind of drawn a picture of it. I could go ahead and rewrite that there's a cluster between um, 15 and 35, and I can list all of those things out as my teacher had requested for this information. I'm going to go ahead and move on to our second part of our question because I've already discussed it up here as I was thinking about it. The second part of this question says the mean is 35. Would this change of 75 and 80 were not included in the data set? Explain. So when the mean was found, they took all of these data points and divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 points. They found that the mean was 35. Would this change if 75 and 80 were not included? Well, let's go ahead and look. 75 and 80 are my outlier data, and they are going to be over here. So when I look at this, 75 and 80, um, if we did not include those two numbers, would that change my data? Well, the 80 wouldn't really, but with the 75, it absolutely would because it would definitely change the values that I have. So would this change? We know that it would definitely help bring down our mean because it would be a lot closer. We'd have a lot more closer to our cluster. So this would definitely change our data. If you have any questions about 8.10, make sure you see your math teacher.